Welcome everyone. We are going to be learning how to build credit with grade A trade lines. So if you are in the process of building credit, strengthening your credit profile, maybe even you have a good credit score, but guess what? You're still getting denied for things. Make sure to watch this entire video because I am going to be covering from top to bottom what banks are pulling from what bureaus, what high limit accounts you can get besides Navy Federal, and all of the top credit unions that you need to be building credit with so you can build grade A credit and your 750 credit score can match your credit profile. Let's get started. If you are interested in getting high limit credit cards, just like one of my clients here, make sure to watch this entire video because not only am I gonna be giving you some of the top credit unions to do this same exact thing with, besides Navy Federal, of course, but I'm gonna be giving you all of the game. So make sure that you have watched the entire video, subscribe and share it with a friend. Let's get started. Now, before we go any further, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty because that's why you guys are watching the video. You want the good stuff first, right? Well, I'm gonna give you the top 11 credit unions before we go any further because that's ultimately what you guys want to know, right? The top banks to get a bag. Well, these are them. These are 11 credit unions that you absolutely need to get, or at least a few of these, because these are places that you can do the pledge loan hack. You can get secured loans. You can do certificate accounts. They're all good credit unions that you can build a relationship with, get trade lines with, whether it's a secured loan, a secured credit card, or just apply for a credit card with them. And later on in the video, we're going to be breaking down, you know, where all these banks pull credit from, what they're good for, who should go where, some of the requirements that would make to, uh, or some of the requirements that it is to join some of these credit unions. Cause a lot of these credit unions, you can't just join. So there's like loopholes or you have to make a donation and something of that nature, right? But these are all grade A banks based on their asset size. It's not just because I'm pulling a rabbit out of my behind and I'm showing you a magic trick. Magic, here's 11 banks. No, these are the top 11 banks based on asset size. So this is facts, okay? The more asset a bank has, the more they are going to give because the more they are going to make. At the end of the day, banks are businesses. They are not making money unless they're giving money. And you have to have a comparable credit on your credit profile in order for you to get the money that you need. And sometimes that takes some time building up to that. Anyone can get a 700 credit score, but that doesn't mean anything if you're still getting denied because you don't have a solid credit credit profile, your data points are not there. Okay. And that's why we talk about getting grade A banks with grade A trade lines reported on your credit report and setting that bar higher for yourself. So that way, when the next bank comes and looks at your credit profile, they're like, oh yeah, Navy Fed, they gave them a 10K loan and that was really your sec secured loan, but maybe Navy Fed gave you a $25,000 credit card after that. So, you know, I'm gonna be showing you examples of that. And, you know, just so you guys can see, just a sneak peek, this is one of my clients and this is a $30,000 credit card that they got. Just, just, just so you could see, look, this is what happened. Soaked up all your video game. I'm telling you guys, don't, don't, don't play with this information because this is information you want to take action on. So let's get into it. Top 11 banks. Don't do anything until you watch the entire video because I'm going to be breaking everything down for you guys. And I want you guys to be fully educated. Okay. Again, make sure that you subscribe, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Navy fed coming in at number one, BECU Boeing. Okay. That's great. Yes. Just like the airplanes and affinity plus federal credit union. That's another hidden gem. Okay. Marine federal credit union, Industrial Federal Credit Union, 
Langley Federal Credit Union, Genesis Federal Credit Union, Hughes Federal Credit Union, Farmers Insurance. Yes, just like the insurance company, Farmers Insurance Federal Credit Union. They have a whole bank, my friends, and they give out the money, my friends. Okay. PinFed, that's another one, high limits, but they are increase sensitive and balance sensitive. And again, we're going to be going over a lot of these little details that you guys need to know so you can make those tweaks to your credit profile before you just go and pull the trigger and apply for things. Don't learn and then earn. Okay. Last but not least is DCU. So those are just 11 banks. And I'm going to be breaking down who all of these banks pull credit from. Again, I put a list of all of these banks that we're going to be going over today in a list in the course. So if you want to buy the course and just skip the madness, link is in the description. Get the credit course, guys. Get it. Welcome to the channel, everyone. If you are new here, make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Credit Coach Nicole Scott. I talk a lot about personal credit and business credit. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to build credit trade lines with grade A banks, okay? Because you are going to get what you give to your credit. You are going, if you invest, heavily into your credit, you are going to get heavily rewarded with credit. Why? Because you have to have what's called comparable credit. Now, a lot of people, they, you know, get all these credit building products like Chime and, you know, Self and Credit Strong. Don't get me wrong. Those are good. But you get a 750 credit score and then you wonder why you still can't get approved for things. You have to have comparable credit with grade A banks. You have to have comparable credit. That is the bottom line, okay? I'm gonna get into all of the top banks that pull from Equifax, but as you can see on this list that's coming up in part two, I've got 23 banks. Most of these are credit unions that pull from Equifax. So if you are someone that is looking for a ton of banks that pull either Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian, make sure to watch part two, where we're talking about nothing but grade A trade lines that are going to help you build credit so that way your credit score can match your credit profile. It's all about data points and adding comparable credit that looks good on paper. So again, guys, if you haven't by now, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Credit Coach Nicole Scott. Follow me on Instagram at Credit Coach Nicole Scott. Make sure that you've liked the video, comment, share it with a friend, and make sure that you have subscribed to the credit course. A long one. We've got 50 slides to go over, and I'm giving you all of this information. Like I said, we're even going to be talking about what FICO models the banks are actually using coming 2023, 2024, and who they're pulling credit from because there are different FICO variations out there. There's not just the FICO 8 or the FICO 9. There's a lot of different FICO variations out there that banks are using. So we're going to get into all of that we're going to be talking about the top credit unions to get credit. We're going to about, talk about using secured loans and secured credit cards to build grade A credit instead of, you know, Chime, Self, you know, Credit Strong, you know, Open Sky, First Progress, all of these other secured credit cards. We want to do it directly with the credit unions that are going to give us benefits in the future because we're building a relationship with them. A lot of these other banks that people get to build credit, there's no future value with that relationship. They're not going to ever give you an auto loan. They're never going to give you a mortgage. They're never going to give you a business loan because that's just not what they specialize in. But guess what? These credit unions they have it. They will give it to you. That's what they specialize in. So that's who we want to be building relationships with. Uh, we do not want to be using Chime as our bank account. Okay. We want to 
figure out why we can't get a bank account, resolve those issues and move forward. If you haven't listened to the Credit Concept Podcast, I highly recommend you listen to that because it talks about how you can clear up your check systems report. It's very easy. A lot of times it's just a very small amount of money that's holding you back from opening up bank accounts with either check systems or early warning. Head over to their website, checksystems.com, early warning, and uh, request your report. See if something is holding you back from being able to get a bank account because that ultimately needs to be corrected before we can move forward. And sometimes that's just a matter of paying it. You know, uh, debts sometimes just don't go away and that's just how it is. We have to say, well, hey, I messed up. You know, I forgot to close out my balance or whatever the case may be. Or if I forgot to pay this overdraft fee, but let's just pay it, move forward and move on. Because as soon as that updates, it's no longer going to be affecting you and in a negative way. So banks are going to be okay with opening a bank account to you. So that way you can start building that relationship with them. Uh, we'll explore options for building credit, top credit unions. Of course, besides Navy Federal, you guys know I love Navy Federal, but Navy Federal is not the only credit union out there. There's tons and tons of banks out there. So again, if you guys are not able to get into uh, Navy Federal, watch this entire video talking about a ton of credit unions, ton of different banks that you can get high limits from because it's all the same concept. And I talk about concept of credit a lot, but this concept is very similar. You build the relationship with the bank. You do a secured loan with them and then you wait three to six months and then apply for a credit card. If you have to do secure, do it. You can get multiple credit cards. So generally your second credit card is not going to be secured. And then we kind of just date a few banks at a time, two to three banks. We're just kind of finessing. We got direct deposit in all of those because of course, direct deposit doesn't need to just go to one account. A lot of welcome bonuses just require you to have a direct deposit that comes into the account in order for you to qualify for their welcome bonus. So a lot of these banks that we're going to be going over today, you can get 200 bucks for just signing up for an account. Okay. Just signing up get paid to do it, get paid to, you know, put five to 25% of your auto pay in this account and just let it roll. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about what credit bureaus banks use, who they pull from. And a lot of these banks that we're going to be talking about today only pull from one credit bureau. So that is exciting in itself. Uh, we're also going to be talking about what FICO scores that these banks are using, and I'm going to be dropping some major, major credit gems throughout the entire video. Uh, this video is going to be broken up into two parts. We're going to be dropping uh, part one first and then part two second. So make sure to watch part one and part two. I try to break up the videos for you guys so it's not as long because you really got to soak up all of this information, listen to all of the information before you pull the trigger and take any action. Okay. That's all that I ask because sometimes people don't listen to the entire video and they automatically assume things and we cannot do that. Okay. We have to listen to the entire video so you can fully understand what it is that I'm saying and how to properly take action. Now, um, we're going to be talking about the benefits of credit unions. I personally love credit unions, especially for those of you that have a thin credit profile or that just are looking to build credit, reestablish credit, strengthen your credit profile. Credit unions are the way to go. They're relationship based. It's all the same concept with all of these credit unions. You want to set up a checking account, a savings account. Um, and then wait about 30 days, make sure immediately you set up direct deposits so they can see some direct deposits come through, wait about 30 days. If you have longer to wait, great. 30 to 90 days, set up some sort of CD account, money market account, savings deposit account, uh, certificate deposit account. If they do offer some sort of secured loan, a pledge loan, certificate pledge loan, which is a secured loan, you're using your own money to pledge it as a loan to build credit, does not cost you a hard inquiry with any of the banks. Again, the same concept with all of these banks apply. Once you do the pledge loan, again, wait three to six months before you apply for your next credit product. We want to build that relationship up 
before we just ask them for credit. Sometimes you got to give a little to get a little, okay? And if you wait, especially if your credit report is not strong or your credit score doesn't really match your report, because believe it or not, banks don't have a particular score that they look for. They are looking at data points on your credit reports. So that's why I'd say people can have a 750 credit score, but their credit profile doesn't match those data points because that's all from somebody else's accounts. Those are all authorized user accounts and they might have like a Chime account that's maxed out. So it's just not a good representation. And of course they're going to get denied because they don't have enough comparable credit that's in their name. That is a primary trade line. And these credit unions are how you're going to get primary trade lines. Okay. So, um, and again, they're grade a trade lines and they're in your name. And then eventually you can actually build up your own credit cards and add your children or add your family or whoever you're helping with their credit. You can add them as an authorized user to your credit account. The only thing that we require is, Hey, you have to have a hundred percent on time payment history. You can never, ever, ever get a late payment. I say that in almost every one of my videos, but it is so true. Late payments are the fastest way that you can ruin everything. Okay. Because they are the hardest thing to correct and they will haunt you for seven years. Okay. And the banks nowadays, they are not wanting to correct any sort of late payment if it is valid and you don't have some sort of life event that took place that caused this late payment to occur or if it was truly an error. Okay. So make sure that you have set up all of your credit accounts, especially all of the credit accounts that report to the credit bureaus on auto pay for at least the minimum amount due. Okay. If you don't take anything else from this video, take that because auto pay is your best friend. Okay. You cannot afford to get any late payments. I mean, if, if worst case scenario, your credit utilization is a little higher some months than others that can always be corrected. But one thing that cannot be corrected is a late payment. And guess what? Late payments and credit utilization, that's 65% of your credit score. And only you can control that. I, as a credit specialist or a credit coach, I have no control over that. These are things that you need to know. And guess what? That's over half of the battle. Okay. Over half of the battle. So we're going to be going over all of the benefits. And like I said, there's a lot of welcome bonuses that you can get money for, for just signing up for a bank account and setting up direct deposit. And you can have as many direct deposits as you want. You can split your checkup a hundred different ways if you wanted to. Of course, that's a little little excessive. And I only recommend dating, you know, three banks, maybe four banks, no more than five banks at a time. The sweet spot is about three banks, manage and juggle about three banks. So have your direct deposit split up between three banks. Make sure you have direct deposit set up in your checking account and in your savings account. Okay. So you're going to have a total of six direct deposits and you're going to select the percentage of of the direct deposit for each particular account in question. Okay. You can always move money around, but we want to show that consistency. Our secured loans. I get this question a lot. Basically you are using your cash money as a loan. Okay. And it's like, how does that work? I was so confused when I first learned about these. I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Why would anybody want to do that? So you have to have the money to get the loan. Yes, but you're defeating the purpose by not understanding. It's not to get you money. It's to build credit. So in the future, you can get better loans and better credit approvals. So if you have a, some sort of cash on hand, tax returns, tax season's coming up. If you're getting a big lump sum of money for your tax returns, do a pledge loan. Before you do anything else, take all of the money that you have and do a pledge loan and then do a second pledge loan. You got two primary trade lines right there for a higher dollar amount. So you just raised the bar for yourself credit wise, because now you got two higher trade line limits with some grade A banks. I mean, we're going to be going over all of these banks, but you could even do it a third time. 
So you can recycle those same funds. You just have to make sure it's paid back on time. Okay. And you're using your own cash to build credit. So with many of these banks, what they require is that you have the money that you're going to be pledging to use as your secured loan in your savings account for at least 30 days prior. Some banks don't require it to sit as long like Navy Federal. They don't really have a requirement as far as how long it has to sit in your, um, savings account. It just, of course, has to have cleared and everything. But some banks actually have requirements like, hey, they're going to require that that money had sat in your savings account for 30 days before you pledge it as a secured loan. So you just want to make sure that you understand. And we're going to be going over those things in, in the video today. So again, make sure to watch the entire thing. And of course, if you are new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a huge thumbs up, guys. Leave me a comment below because guess what? Your engagement with the video helps my video reach a wider audience. And this is the information that you guys need to know, okay? This is the same information that I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars learning. And honestly, I it took me a good two weeks to put this slideshow together for you guys because there was so much information that I wanted to put out there. And I'm trying to give you as much like amazing value as possible, because this is, this is the stuff that can life, like literally change your life. Like I'm telling you right now, if you use this money wisely and you use this money to invest in your business and invest in yourself, there's no way that you can't win. You just have to make sure that if your business or you are not producing money at this moment, you have an income to pay it back. You have a job. There's nothing wrong with having a job. I highly recommend everyone who is an entrepreneur in this day and age to have a job because it's so expensive to live in our day and age. It's almost like you have to have a job, a side hustle, a second job, be a full-time mom, be a full-time entrepreneur, and you know, do DoorDash on the side. So it's like, it's crazy, but I live in California and that's just the way it is. So um, you wanna just make sure you have multiple streams of income and you can use credit to create multiple streams of income. That's the beauty about it, okay? And you just have to understand how to properly use this money, how to leverage your personal credit to get business credit. That's the name of the game. The name of the game is not to get a bunch of high limit credit cards and then go ditch the plug like the banks are the plugs. You're never going to get anything from anyone again. Why would you do that to yourself? These 25,000, 35,000, even $50,000 credit cards are a test. They are a test. They are a drop in the bucket for these banks. Do you honestly think that they're going to go broke over that? No, but guess what? If you can't manage even a 50,000, 30,000, $20,000 credit card properly, they will never give you anything else. And if they do give you anything, if any of these banks do give you anything, you are going to pay high risk, premium, high prices, okay? Almost unaffordable prices, okay? Which causes a lot more people to default. So it's an evil cycle that you get in. So that's why it's so important for you to understand when you get this credit, you have to have a way to pay it back on time every month, at least for the minimum amount due, okay? And, you know, the higher you owe, the more that that minimum is going to be. So make sure that you are managing your credit properly. Only use a couple credit cards at a time. I tell people this all the time, only use what you can pay back in cash. Okay. Use your credit cards as if they are a debit card, especially when you're first starting to build and you don't have the highest limits because using that credit card too much is gonna make your credit score go down as well. We need to keep our credit card utilization, all of the revolving accounts, meaning lines of credit and credit cards, under 15%. We only want to have a balance on a couple at a time. If you have 10 trade lines that are in your name, you can afford to have a balance on two to three. But if you only have five credit cards or not even, you should really only have a balance on one credit card, okay? If you have a balance on more than one, Get those other cards zeroed out and paid off. There's no reason why you should be spending more than you're making because right now you're spending more than you're making, okay? We need to make sure you have a budget together. You understand that 
these can be the fastest way that you can crash and burn. So it's very important that you're educated on how to properly use credit and you are very disciplined because it is so easy to go spend. Let me tell you, I, I went to Walmart three different times. We're decorating the house for Christmas right now. So of course we need this, we need that. Oh, we need another decoration for the outside lights. So of course I have to go to Walmart are these times. Each trip to Walmart was like 300 to $400. Last night, I finally looked at my receipt. Like, there's no way this could have been $300. Like, how? How was these four bags of stuff $300? So it's very easy to overspend because in this day and age, everything is just so expensive, especially in places like California, New York, Florida, Texas, Atlanta. Oh, so ridiculous, Okay. Uh, so shout out to you guys. Make sure that you're doing multiple streams of income. Do yourself a favor, okay? Invest in yourself. Do things the right way. It might take a little bit longer, but as long as you're dedicated and you're taking action, you're gonna get it done. It will happen. You just gotta write out your plan. Sometimes you do need a coach. I coach a lot of people on how to start a credit repair business and how to start, you know, this type of business, YouTube, coaching, consulting, content, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, sign up, schedule a, a mini call with me, and we can talk about how I can help you with your goals, because this is a great business. It absolutely is. It's very rewarding, and it's very hard to find good people in this industry that are going to keep it 100% real with you and be like, look, sometimes not everything goes away. Okay, sometimes you might have to pay some of your old debt. Who wants to hear that? Nobody, right? Guess who's going to tell them that? Me, <laughs> you, because we keep it real with our people. We keep it real with the people that we're helping because why lie to somebody when we know that there's a chance this might not be deleted from their credit report? That's besides the point. But secured loans, great way to build credit and the one reason why I really like secured loans over secured credit cards is because for most of these banks, not including DCU, but most of the banks that you do a secured loan with, the funds are still accessible in your bank account. So they're not tied up like they are with a secured credit card. So if you have a secured credit card, say you do a thousand dollar secured credit card, that thousand dollars is no longer in your account. It's now the limit on your credit card. But guess what? If you go spend a thousand dollars on your credit card, it's going to tank your credit score because your credit utilization is going to go up so high. Again, we got to keep our credit utilization, which is credit cards and lines of credit, not installment loans. Installment loans do not count towards your credit utilization. They account for your debt to income, but that's another thing. Okay. We'll get to that too. And if you haven't watched my video where I'm talking about the secured loans and the pledge loans, watch that video. That's a brand new video. It should be out by now. Um, if it is, I'll leave a link below, but it talks, it breaks down the secured loans. It's literally like a masterclass hour and a half talking about the secured loans and how they work and what they look like there. It's amazing. I'm telling you guys, if I would have known this information prior, all of the loans that I got, all of the funding that I got, I would have done two pledge loans. Every time I got a big amount of money, I would have done an additional pledge loan because that just helps me get larger lines with grade A banks and show them that I can pay them off quicker because you can pay them off however fast you want. And the money is going to be accessible to you. Okay. So how do secure loans work? It's your money. It has to be in the savings account. You put your cash on your credit report. That's how you can get bigger lines of credit. If you're struggling because you can only get $500, $1,000 credit limits, next time you get a big lump of sump of money, maybe a loan or if you get a tax return or you get a settlement or anytime you have a large sum of money that you can do towards a pledge loan, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 
Or if a family member has a large lump sum of money, they can add you as a co-borrower. You won't have access to their funds, but it will help you and them build credit as a secured loan. So that's another thing is people can actually co-sign for you and you don't even have to use your cash. So if you have a mom, dad's family member, grandma, grandma, whoever, a lot of older folks, they tend to have a lot of money just sitting in a savings account. Well, you guys can both put that money to work for you, allow it to build yourself a grade A trade line from a bank, allow it to give you a whole primary trade line that's helping you build credit and just strengthen your credit profile. It's a win-win for everyone. You just have to make sure the payments are paid on time. So make sure auto pay is set up with the banker over the phone when you set it up, okay? And then you can always pay more as time goes on so you're not paying a big interest fee. And we talk about this in the video where I'm breaking down how the secured loans work. So again, make sure to watch that entire video. Now, before we go any further, I just wanna go, before we go any further, I just wanna be able to show you guys some social proof. So here is one of my clients. He met me on YouTube. He decided to reach out. I ended up helping him with his credit and getting some credit established for himself. And one of the cards that he was able to acquire was with Navy Federal. This is a $30,000 credit card that he got with Navy Federal. And this is just a prime example of having comparable credit. So when you go to the next bank to apply for credit cards, you just raise the bar. So instead of you getting a bunch of those lower limit approvals, 5,000, 10,000, guess what? Navy Federal just helped this client raise the bar, okay? And hey, this is what happens when you take action, okay? He didn't do anything different than what you can do. But what this client did was he said, you know what? I know I need help. This girl knows what she's talking about. I'm gonna reach out to her. I'm gonna invest in myself. And guess what? $30,000. And no, I don't charge a success fee. This is just the information I give my clients as clients because my job as a coach is to give you the information for you to take action and for us to work together to reach your goals, okay? So boom, here is a social proof. This does work, but you have to be willing to listen, learn before you earn and take action, my friends. ECU may not be the most ideal if you plan to get multiple secured loans. And I'm a huge advocate of getting multiple secured loans. I don't recommend going past three because you want to use the concept build, take a break, and then build, okay? Three banks should be what you are grooming, aka dating at a time, okay? You don't want to overextend yourself and three can be easily managed and then in the next six to 12 months, you can move on to another three. So that way you are grooming, you are building, you are taking a break and you are building. And while you are building, you have active auto pay with both checking and savings account. It does not need to be a large amount. It can be a very small percentage of your direct deposit, but you just want to make sure that you have direct deposit because that helps your relationship with any bank. With Navy Federal, it helps your internal credit scoring model. With all of the other banks, they have if they do have some sort of internal scoring model like Navy Federal, it is going to help because it's all the same concept. It helps the relationship with the bank. That's why, you know, having direct deposit is oftentimes a part of the bonus when you're signing up for a new bank account. And a lot of these accounts, they have a sign up bonuses right now for just signing up for a checking account and a savings account and having direct deposit. DCU does not unsecure your funds until the loan is fully paid off. So that's one of the downsides to the DCU secured loan, but there are other secured loans out there that 
do have the funds available to you while your secured loan is taking place. You can always pay your secured loan off early without penalty. That's not a problem. So it's really, you know, meant to help you build payment history. So you don't want to pay it off too quickly. And a lot of this is covered in my secured loan masterclass where we're talking about how to properly use the secured loan. But if you um, are doing the six month plan where you're building, you want to pay off the loan in six months. Okay. You can pay a larger sum, maybe 70, 80% of it off, and then just let auto pay roll for the remainder of it. But the longer you let it roll, the better, because that's what we want. Payment history. ECU is going to unsecure your funds only when the loan is fully paid off. And that can take you know, a couple days to process when it is fully paid off. So you just want to make sure that you are planning accordingly and you give this enough time. So I always tell people DCU is a great bank. They give high limits. However, you know, the downside is if you do do the secured loan, the funds, again, they won't be available until the loan is fully paid off. DCU is an Equifax bank. So if you have a good Equifax credit score and credit profile clear of any derogatory marks, DCU is a great place to start off. They also offer small business lending, commercial lending. So they have small business credit products that you can definitely check out, but they have every credit product that you're going to need. They even offer student refinance loans. So if you are looking to refinance your student loans to see if you can get a lower interest rate, they are a great option. So again, build on the personal side, then move over to the business side, all right? Now, I have compiled a list of credit unions that offer secured loans and unsecure your funds as soon as you pay down the balance. But again, there are membership fees or you might have to join some sort of organization. So a lot of credit unions are membership-based, okay? Membership in some credit unions requires joining some sort of nonprofit organization or some sort of membership. List of all of these credit unions and banks and financial institutions will all be on the list. And all of this is inside of the credit course. The link for the credit course is below. So if you guys have any doubts about buying the credit course, this slideshow alone is worth the price of the credit course, which is on sale through the end of the year. So make sure that you get the course, you have lifetime access, and then you can always purchase coaching as needed Or if you wanted to sign up for coaching, the courses are included, the business credit course, the personal credit course, and the Turo course. And the personal credit course is really, you know, how to repair credit, how to start a credit repair business, and all of this different credit information, like everything that I put together, I put inside of the course for you guys. So you can learn and grow and just really take action. That's really what this information is there for, is for you to take action, okay? Some things that you might wanna consider are some credit unions actually perform a hard credit pull when you are joining just by opening up a checking and a savings account. Some banks will do a soft pull, some banks will do a hard credit pull, but it is worth it. And in many cases, you can get that hard inquiry removed because it's not going to be associated with any sort of credit product. But when the when you are applying, you just want to be aware. So that way, if you keep your credit reports locked, you can make sure that they're unlocked because if they are locked and they try to do a credit pull, that could lead in a denial. So you don't want to do that. And a lot of these banks are going to be using check systems. Some of them are going to be using early warning. So again, if you have issues opening up bank accounts, I've left the links below for check systems and early warning so you can request a copy 
copy of your report. It doesn't do you any good to freeze this data because if you freeze check systems or early warning, all that it's gonna do is end up in a denial. You need to fix the problem. If you are concerned about the bank pulling your credit as a hard pull, always ask them, is there going to be a hard credit pull when I apply for my bank account? If they tell you yes, obviously you know what to expect. If they tell you no, but still perform one, then obviously that's a grounds for deletion because you have it recorded that no, there was no hard credit pull. When it comes to credit unions, generally, if you have a hard pull on file, they may allow you to get multiple credit products with a single inquiry. It's definitely worth asking for because this is what a lot of people refer to as double dipping. A pretty cool thing about the secured loan is there are no hard pulls when it comes to applying for a secured loan. So this secured loan is gonna report to all three credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, as long as that particular bank reports to all three. Generally, most of these banks do. Navy Federal definitely reports to all three credit bureaus and you can get multiple pledge loans with Navy Federal, which are primary trade lines to help you build credit and strengthen that overall credit profile. You can start with funds as low as $250 and you can really go as high as you have on hand. I've seen people go up to 200,000, but if you wanted to do a higher amount, I'm sure that they would welcome it with opening arms. It's just going to cost you more with interest, but it's worth putting that comparable credit on your credit profile if you are looking to get some sort of future funding with them, whether that's property, uh, you know, mortgage, some sort of home improvement loan, home equity line of credit, things of that nature. So there's, you know, a reason for all of this. And in that secure loan video, I actually show you guys what it looks like if you were to get a $200,000 pledge loan with Navy Federal and the outcome of that. It was crazy. So you got to watch that video. It's important for us to understand that adding multiple trade lines to boost our credit score and diversifying our credit relationships is super important. We want to make sure that we are spreading our secured loans across multiple banks who offer incentives and value relationships. When I mean offer incentives is a lot of banks and credit unions offer some sort of welcome bonus for you to just sign up for a checking account and a savings account. You just want to make sure that you understand the fine print because if there is some sort of you know, minimum deposit that you have to make. You want to make sure that you have direct deposit. That's usually a requirement. Want to make sure that you have all of those checked off on your boxes. So that way you can qualify for the introduction rate or incentive that's being offered. To mention all of the incentives that are offered with a lot of their new credit cards, including a lot of these places are offering 0% introduction rates on their credit cards for anywhere from 12 to 18 months. So that's a bonus right there. Internal banking data points are super valuable. And one thing that you have to understand is no matter what the bank is, it's all the same concept. You want to build your relationship. You want to start with a checking account and a savings account. You want to get direct deposit. You want to wait 30 to 90 days. And then you want to make sure that you have set up some sort of money market account, savings account, certificate of deposit account. And at that time, you can also do what's called a pledge loan, which is a secured loan. You do not want to apply for anything for at least 90 days is what my recommendation is. Now, if you're kind of in a rush, you can probably apply for some things after 30 days of membership with most of these credit unions, but take your time, do things the right way. If you look like you're too desperate, the bank's gonna be, hey, red flag, red flag. So we don't wanna be waving any red flags. We wanna take our time. We wanna date these banks. We want to really, you know, build up that relationship before we finally ask them the big question. Hey, can I get a credit card? The secured loan is a great way to add comparable credit, especially if you can do a higher ticket amount. Let's get into these top 10 
credit unions, really top 11, but I'm not going to count Navy Federal because they are so number one. I've talked about them so much. Um, I've even had some people say, oh my God, all you do is talk about Navy Federal. Yeah, they're the number one credit union, not because what I think, because they actually are based on assets. So yes, um, they're going to get talked about a lot, but Hey, Navy Federal is great. Here is some social proof $30,000 credit card. This just helps raise the bar. It helps give you comparable credit. So when you go and apply for your next credit card, the bank is going to feel more comfortable giving you a higher amount because you've already shown that, hey, this bank will give me 30K. What will you do for me, right? So it just helps raise the bar for everyone else and open up more doors and opportunities for higher credit limits. Navy Federal is going to be pulling from TransUnion. Funny enough, they used to be an Equifax bank many, many moons ago. And oftentimes they will still use Equifax on certain things. So sometimes you'll see two hard pulls from Navy Federal, one on TransUnion and one on Equifax. So sometimes they can pull from both, but the majority of the time they are just going to be using TransUnion. Union. I have seen them pull Equifax and TransUnion for auto loans. So just beware, they will need to look at both. If for some reason you have a really great TransUnion, but not so great Equifax, make sure that you just lock your Equifax, forcing them to use the data that's on the TransUnion report. The union is their primary credit bureau and Equifax is their secondary credit bureau. They do pull Experian on the business side, so make sure that you understand that there are differences when it comes to credit products. A lot of these banks are gonna be pulling from different credit bureaus based on which credit product you are applying for. That's another thing to keep in mind. And some banks actually use different bureaus from state to state. So I am in California. Someone in Florida might have a different bureau pulled because they live in a different state. But Navy Federal, for the most part, you're just looking at TransUnion. They are going to be using a FICO 9 from TransUnion, and they will approve people with a fairly low credit score. I have heard of people getting approved as low as a 580 credit score. So as long as you have a relationship with Navy Federal, go ahead and get pre-approved right through the app or on their website. You can definitely try the late night hack where you apply for credit products after hours, preferably after 10 p.m. or even after midnight. And the myth is that you have much better chances of getting approved. How true that is, we'll never know. But guess what? Leave your experience down in the comments below so that way we can all learn together. Let me know if the late night hack really worked for you or if it's just a myth. Me, myself, I've always applied at different times. I was always approved. I never had any issues. But again, that was, you know, years ago. Things are always changing. So again, just because I'm giving you data as of today, which this data is always changing. So you don't want to just take my word for it, but do your own research, verify that it is actually still accurate because this is the data that was known to be accurate accurate at the time of recording, but as we all know, things are always changing. Next credit union we have up is Boeing Employees Credit Union. This is also called BECU. Boeing is just like it sounds, the airplane. They are an airplane credit union. They obviously have money. They are in the top rankings based on assets. They are also going to be pulling from TransUnion. This is a great bank. You can head over to their website. Now let's break down who would qualify for an account 
with Boeing. Currently, anyone who lives, works, worships, or goes to school in Washington State can qualify and be eligible for membership. Residents of select counties in Oregon and Idaho, as well as members of partner associations, are also eligible. What does that mean? Well, Washington State and select Oregon and Idaho counties can join. So here is a list of all of those particular areas. I'm not going to name them all, but you guys can go over them. Members of partner associations like UW Alumni Association or WSU Alumni Association, University of Washington Alumni Association. So all of these different associations, if you are a member of any of those, you could qualify for a membership with BECU. Now, employees of BECU, Boeing and credit unions of BECU operates under a state charter in South Carolina, offering financial products and services tailored to the unique needs of residents within South Carolina. Now, the TOM code for the credit union is 99, meaning it is a state charter. Membership is also open to immediate family members of current Boeing credit union members. Remember, we can always find a workaround by getting a virtual address in the area if some of these banks are geo-restricted. Sometimes you just have to think outside of the box, but Boeing is a great credit union. They give a massive amounts, and if you have a very strong transunion credit profile, meaning no collections, no charge-offs, no negatives, with low inquiries, Boeing is definitely going to be a top choice. Next, we have Affinity Plus. Now, there are two different Affinity credit unions. There is Affinity Plus, which looks like this, and there's also Affinity Federal Credit Union, which looks like this. Both great credit unions, but in this particular case, we're just gonna be talking about the plus. So, Affinity Plus Credit Union, they pull from Experian. I really like banks that pull from Experian because as we all know, the inquiries are easiest to get removed. But this is a great credit union. Join, all that you would need to do is just make a $25 donation to the Affinity Plus Foundation. It's that easy and you are able to join as a member and get access to the credit products. Again, all of these top credit unions offer some sort of secured loan, secured credit card. So that way you can start building the relationship with the bank, whether it is with a secured loan, which is going to be my number one choice, or a secured credit card if you already have too many secured loans. You don't want to have more than three open at one time. You really need to diversify your credit profile. If you already have a few installment loans or secured loans that are open, it's time to start getting getting some secured credit cards because you really want to have between three and five credit cards that are in your name, if not more. The goal is to get closer to that 10 range, but again, we're not really using all of them. They're just there for decoration to make us look good on paper, okay? Because that screams, hey, they don't need the money. They're credible. They can be trusted. Look, they got $200,000 in available credit on their credit profile. They're not even using it. Of course, we're going to give them money, right? Of course. So Affinity Federal Affinity Federal Credit Union and Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union. Both great credit unions, but check out Affinity Plus. What we have is Marine Federal Credit Union. Now, Marine, they provide secured loans for their members. Again, most of these credit unions, you're going to need to become a member of some some way, somehow. And this particular bank pulls from Equifax. So this is another Equifax credit union. And becoming a member of the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation Affiliate Program, I will receive any associated benefits offered within the program, including periodic notes pertaining to the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation. And by clicking continue, I am agreed to become a member of the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation and paying the affiliate fee of $25. So again, another $25 fee to join. 
well worth it, guys. Okay, well worth it, especially if you do not qualify to get an account with Navy Federal or you have already messed up with some of these other banks. These are great alternative banks and they are federal credit unions. Again, top credit unions, grade A credit unions. Just because you haven't heard of them doesn't mean that they're not grade A, okay? They have the most amount of assets. Obviously, they're doing something right. They don't even have to advertise, okay? Industrial Federal Credit Union, okay? The um, They also have secured loans that you can do with them. Look at all of these different credit products that they offer. Okay. Not to mention if your credit is bad, it's going to cost more with insurance. And that's another reason why farmers insurance does so well as a credit union, because they are brilliant in that matter. But we'll get to that in just a second. So right here, um, industrial federal credit union, they primarily serve multiple machinery, manufacturing organizations, providing financial services designated to meet the specific needs of its employees in this sector. Their TOM code is for the credit union 43, which is multiple common bond, primary machinery. Membership is also open to immediate family of current members. Okay. So if you have family member that works in the industrial area, head over to their website, see if there is a way that you can qualify because this is one of the banks that is a hidden gem. Okay. Super high on the asset side, but nobody has ever heard of them because they are a hidden gem. Okay. So if you can qualify, if you have family, if you have somebody that is a member that can get you in, get in. Okay. Get in. Langley Federal Credit Union. Langley is another one of those hidden gems. All of these credit unions are. There's thousands and thousands of banks out there. These are the top rated based on assets. Numbers don't lie. Okay. Those are the facts. They, these are the top rated credit unions. So they are grade A trade lines and banks to build relationships with that will offer you credit products in the future. Okay. Auto loans, mortgages, whatever you need, home equity line of credit. Wouldn't it be nice for you to be able to get the lowest interest rates on your auto loans, on your mortgages, on your properties, all because you have a relationship with the bank or be able to go to the bank when you have an investment property that you can buy and get a low interest rate. It's a no brainer. Langley's going to be another Equifax bank. I always get people ask me what banks pull from Equifax. I'm giving you a bunch of different banks. And later on in this video, in part two, I'm going to be breaking down all of the different banks that are pulling from Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. So based on whoever your credit profile is the strongest with, you can pick some of these banks and start building up that relationship. Do some secured loans. But again, wait 90 days before you apply. We want to just build up that relationship first, okay? Now, um, there is going to be a hard pull for membership when you join Langley. Langley. There was also a hard pull for me when I joined First Tech Federal Credit Union. That was another credit union that was a hard pull for me. You can also consider double dipping if you already have a good credit score and you plan to apply for their credit products. Um, you can double dip with Langley for 30 days. So I don't know if new members would want to do that, take the risk, but you can certainly try. Some people are a little bit more riskier than others. That's fine. I think as long as you have a good credit profile already, a good credit score of over 700 and your profile looks good, you don't have balances on any of your credit cards. You know, you never want to apply for new credit when you have balances on your credit card. You wanna wait till those balances have updated to zero before you start applying for a bunch of new credit products. Or if you're applying for auto, any sort of funding that you're applying for, credit card, auto, mortgage, whatever, get all of your credit cards paid down to a zero balance. Try to bring your score up as much as you possibly can organically. Once everything has updated across all of the credit bureaus, then apply, okay? Don't use your credit cards until 
you have gotten approved for whatever it is that you're applying for. That is super important. Again, banks want to give money to people that look like they don't need the money. It's all about how you look on paper. You have to look good on paper. If you look good on paper, the banks, they're going to say yes all day, all day, all day. Okay. So Langley is another one. And I believe they actually have a uh, bonus going on right now if you join. So head over to their website, Genesis Credit Union. This is another one that's like a super hidden gem, right? Nobody's ever heard of them. They don't see their advertisements. These banks don't need to advertise, okay? They've got billions in assets and they are all word of mouth, okay? So Genesis is going to be pulling from Experian, but it could vary. It could be other bureaus because sometimes they're a little spotty as well. But you can join by making a contribution to an eligible organization. A lot of times if you just go to their website or if you get the course, in my list I have, you know, a breakdown of all of the different qualifications that are going to be needed for each particular credit union. Some are going to be a little bit harder to join than others, but the credit unions that have like a $25 association fee, or if you just go join this membership, you'll automatically qualify for their membership. Those are the easy ones to join. You just have to do the work. Okay. Um, and again, most of these banks that we're mentioning have the secured loan. Okay. They're going to offer the pledge loan hack. So you can do like up to two to three pledge loans at a time start building up that credit for six months. Okay. While you're, you're taking a break on applying for six to 12 months, and then you're just going to work on building. Okay. We're going to do the build, break, build, build, you know, apply for some credit, take a break, make sure all payments are made on time, set up auto pay, just let, let it flow, let it flow. We're building up our on-time payments for six to 12 months. And then we can build again, build, break, build. Okay. That's the concept that you want to use when it comes to credit. You never want to be in a rush because again, you don't want to get too much credit too quickly either, because that's going to affect your history, which is 15% of your credit score. So this is another, um, great credit union. It is based in Michigan. So if you are in Michigan, this is the fifth largest credit union in Michigan. And again, you can join by just making a contribution to an eligible organization with them. Hughes Federal Credit Union, they are open to anyone with a $10 donation to community special interest group. 10 bucks gets you in the door. Totally worth it. Uh, you can make a donation to the following community special interest group, Friends of the Aura Valley Public Library, Friends of the Pima County Public Library, or Tucson Abudon, I don't know how to say that, forgive me, Society. There you go. It's right there in writing. That's what you need to do. They hard pull from Experian for credit products and to join the credit union. So they are going to hard pull you from Experian just to join. Okay. So make sure again, it's not locked. Your check systems is not locked. Your early warning is not locked because locking those are not going to do you any good. We talked about that briefly. This right here is a gem. I don't think you guys really realize how much information, like between all these banks, you could easily get $100,000 easily. That's like 10K from each of these banks, which is like, that's like underachieving. I like to give realistic numbers and I could have easily told you 200,000, 250,000, but I'm being realistic. Between these 11 places, you could easily get $100,000 in funding, if not more. Okay. Between all of the banks that I'm giving you, you can easily get $250,000. Okay. And that's just me being modest. It just depends on how much work you're willing to put in. And of, of course, this takes time. Okay. You're not going to get $100,000 in 12 months. Okay. It might take you two years, but ultimately you're going to grow your credit limits every three to six months. So that way, if you get in the door at 10 K or 20 K, in the next year, you should have worked that all the way up to 20 or 30 K, right? At least 10 K. So what we want to be doing is spending and paying is spending and paying. Don't spend what you can't pay in cash. Okay. Put all of your expenses on your credit cards to raise your limits so you can spend, pay, spend, pay, treat your credit card like a debit card, only use two to three cards at a time. 
Okay. Those, these are all things that are super important. If you need to rewind it and play it again, please do so. And of course, if you haven't by now, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Credit Coach Nicole Scott. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you for sticking around this long and make sure to watch part two. It's going to be full of gems. I'm telling you, it took me weeks to put this information together for you guys, but I finally finished it and I said, I got to record this video ASAP because I got to get this information out to my followers because this is information that, again, you need to know because if you knew better, you would do better. Say it with me one more time. If you knew better, you would do better. Let's do better. Okay. Farmers Federal Credit Union. Who man, I love this credit union. I love this credit union. Uh, farmers, insurance, sound familiar? I bet it does. Uh, membership is any, is open to anyone through the American Consumer Council, okay? There you go. That's how you get in. They hard pull from Experian and will be a hard pull to join, okay? There are no geographic restrictions. They are available nationwide. You can get eligibility through, again, the American Consumer Council. Again, sometimes you have to join memberships and organizations in order to qualify for the credit union. And that's fine. What are they like 10 bucks, 20 bucks to join? That's nothing. Okay. Pay the money and just get on with it. Get it done. Okay. Um, double dipping is allowed. So if you apply for something, they'll use the same inquiry for the second product that you apply for. Your inquiry is good for 30 days. They hard pull from Experian for credit products, loans, credit cards, lines of credit. You can get up to $40,000 limit with farmers, okay? Now, you want to make sure your Experian credit report looks decent and that you have a decent credit score, okay? Don't try to come in and apply and get $40,000 and say, I didn't get nothing. Your credit score is 580. Of course, you're not going to get nothing, Okay. But if you have, you know, even a thin profile, 700 credit score or better, come get this money from farmers, okay? Again, whatever you get, you have to make sure you pay it back. You have to make sure you manage it responsibly. You have to make sure you pay your bills on time. Don't mess up. These are tests, okay? Our goal is to get money-making assets, properties, items that build wealth, businesses that build wealth, anything that can be another stream of income, but we don't have all the cash to buy it or pay for advertising or investment purposes. This money can help us grow our business, grow our wealth. I mean, there's so many opportunities, guys. Don't be, you know, delusional and think that number one, it's easy and anyone can do it because if it's that easy, everyone would have it, right? Don't believe something that sounds too good to be true. What I give you is real information, but you got to make sure that before you apply, your credit report is in order. You got your house in order, okay? Don't be coming to these banks looking like a hot mess, okay? I didn't send you looking like that, okay? If you need to understand what you need to look like on the credit profile, book a call with me. Let's go over your credit profile and let's do a consultation because it's important for you to understand if now is a good time for you to apply for something. If you got a bunch of charge-offs and collections and derogatory accounts, the answer is no. And no, trade lines will not help you, okay? You can get a couple secured loans, that will help you. You can get some secure credit cards, that will help you, but you can't use them. Okay. I'd never recommend using your secured credit cards because they're going to affect your credit utilization fast, especially when your secured credit card is only a couple hundred bucks, even a thousand bucks. If you use 250 bucks of a thousand, that's 25% right there. And we need to keep our credit utilization under 15% preferably under 10, but you know, I give you a 5% wiggle room, which isn't much. Okay. But, um, back to the subject at hand here, they are going to require proof of income. So of course they're going to want to make sure if we give you this money, you got a way that you can pay it back. That's why I always recommend you keeping your job to fund your business until your business can stand on its own two feet. You're going to need a reliable source of income for sometimes upwards of a couple of years, even after you start your business, because your business is going to take some time 
to get out there, okay? You might have for a really good month or two and then boom, nothing. So that's why I say keep that source of income, um, whether that's a job or whether that's you know another business, keep that source of income until your business can stand on its own two feet. Um, and then when you do get a business, you want to make sure to put yourself on payroll. Um, if you have not signed up for ADP payroll, I have left a link below. Put yourself on payroll so you can get pay stubs for yourself. There's no excuse, okay? You can use credit cards to pay your payroll with ADP. So you're earning rewards, points, all this great stuff. It's like, it's just insane. So again, make sure to sign up. I left the link below in the description. You're going to get 3% unlimited cash back for the first year up to $10,000 with farmers insurance, federal credit union. Okay. In monthly spend and 2.5% after year one, run it up, run it up. Insurance agency loans, you can get a $100,000 business line of credit, um, small business line of credit, commercial real estate. They have a 100% loan to value home equity line of credit for up to $350,000. I mean, oh my God, did you guys understand what, I mean, right there, right there, game changer, say it with me, game changer. This information is game changing. Okay. Again, if you haven't by now, hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment below guys. I need your engagement with this video. Let's go on federal credit union. One of my personal favorite credit unions. I actually have pen fed. They were one of the first credit unions that gave me more than a $500 credit limit. So shout out to pen fed many years ago when I was rebuilding my credit, educated about credit, nor was I educated about banking. All that I knew was Chase, Bank of America, and every other bank that I passed by, you know, driving down the street, I learned about all of these other banks that are out there that I could actually become a member with by simply making a phone call or applying online or making a donation. It was just insane because Bank of America and Chase, they didn't want to give me nothing, you know, and I started going to these credit unions. That's when everything really changed for me is when I started going to the credit unions because they're known for giving higher limits. You can grow your limits over time, spend, pay, spend, pay. The one thing that you don't want to do is get an overdraft fee in your checking account or savings account, nor do you want to get a late payment. Those are the two things that you must avoid. Um, and you don't want to max out your credit card. Okay. Spend it, pay it down, spend it, pay it down. Make sure to not allow your credit card to report more than a 15% utilization to the credit bureau. So understand when your billing uh, statement date is. That is the last day of your billing cycle, okay? You want to understand what that day is because three to five business days prior to the end of your billing cycle, you want to make sure that your account balance is paid in full so the account data that the bank reports to the credit bureau on a monthly basis is saying that, hey, this person has a zero balance with us. They're good. Okay. You're going to get an on-time payment. Okay. It's still going to say, okay. But in the meantime, you're spending and paying and you're building up that, that credit usage with the bank. The credit bureaus just don't need to know about it. Okay. And again, um, when you are grooming your banks and dating your banks, you can date as many banks as you can manage. Okay. I've seen people do up to five, but anything past that really gets, you know, very, I mean, it's only for the strong that <laughs> don't have a lot going on. They don't have kids. They can easily manage all of this stuff and have spreadsheets and keep it all organized. Perfect. But if you're a busy individual like I am and you have children, small children, it's very, you know, you have very little hand, time on your hands. I mean, me doing this video right now, my daughter's taking a nap. I got lucky. So I'm like trying to get through all this stuff before she wakes up and comes in here and says she needs me for nothing. But you know how babies are. You, you got to be there for them. So, you know, our time is very valuable. And that's why I thank you guys so much for watching my video because you could be doing anything in the world, but guess what? You're watching me and I appreciate that because when I was learning and when I was you learning about credit and learning about business credit, 
I was doing the same thing. YouTube University, baby, all day, okay? So shout out to you for wanting to do better because again, I give you that information you need to know because if you knew better, you could do better. And I try to give you to you straightforward, no BS, no extra stuff. This is what it is, point blank, period, okay? Very much factual data. And again, don't take my word for it. Do your own research, but this will get you started, okay? And again, if you want to get access to the entire credit course, the link is in the description. Uh, back to PinFed, another great Equifax bank. I highly recommend them. Now, they are uh, inquiry sensitive and they are balance sensitive. So let me just tell you a quick story about my uh, <laughs> relationship with PinFed. Are you guys ready? I got my first higher limit credit card with PinFed. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. First thing that I did was I bought my uh, MacBook laptop that I still use to this day. And I use that as an investment and that has helped me make a whole nother stream of income, several streams of income. Okay. Um, but I invested in my business. I maxed it out, but I, you know, paid it pretty quickly off. And sometimes you just have to take those hits temporarily to, you know, get equipment for your business, but you have means to pay it down and pay it off. So it's no big deal. But, um, with PinFed, I said, okay, well, let me apply for another credit card. I got a little greedy and I said, I'm gonna apply for another credit card. Cause I had, um, one of my friends, he got three credit cards with PinFed, all high limit credit cards, like all like 15, 15, 20K cards. And I was like, oh man, I want to get, you know, more cards. Well, they straight up told me when I applied, no. And I was like, well, let me talk to the reconsideration line. So I talked to the reconsideration line and basically I spoke with one of their phone agents who told me the reason why we denied you today is because you have balances on too many credit cards. Now, mind you, I had about eight to 10 credit cards. They were, none of them were outrageous. Um, a lot of them, I literally just had a balance on there to suffice the bank and keep a small balance on there because I was in a couple of credit mentorships and I was told, hey, if you keep a balance of like three to 5%, you know, you got to keep a balance in your cards just to keep them happy. Well, PinFed straight busted that myth for me uh, when they told me, no, you have balances on too many cards and that's why we're declining you today. And I was like, wow. I said, even though I only have, you know, a very small percentage on each of the cards, they said, yeah, you look too much of a risk for us when you have balances on too many credit accounts. And I said, wow, thou, I mean, I can't thank them enough for giving me that information because here I am sharing it with you guys so you guys can be better and know better. Because again, if you knew better, you would do better. So when you go and you step to PinFed, you want to open up that checking account and that savings account first. Okay. You want to let it marinate, get whatever bonus they have set up auto pay, let that marinate for like 90 days while you're letting your account marinate with PinFed, you can do a pledge loan with them. No problem. There's not going to be a hard inquiry or anything like that. Um, but if you are planning to apply for any credit, like real credit products, like credit card, auto, anything of that nature, you want to make sure that all of your credit cards pretty much have a zero balance. If for some reason you're not able to pay off one card, that should be fine. But you would need to have, you know, five to 10 credit cards and maybe only one card have a small balance on it because pin fed is very inquiry sensitive. They don't like a whole lot of new inquiries. And again, they're pulling from Equifax, nor do they like balances on too many credit cards. So you want to make sure that you have allowed enough time for those balances to fully update on every credit bureau. That's why the MyFICO app is so important because you're going to get, you know, monitoring with MyFICO and you can understand what your true FICO is when someone has pulled your credit. It's great for tracking purposes. I mean, everything is in there. And I'll, again, I'll leave a link below for the MyFICO app. And that's going to give you every FICO variation that is out there because different banks might use a different FICO scoring model. Um, from what I understand, PinFed is using a FICO 8. That's what I was told by one of the representatives that works at PinFed. 
That data is always changing. So don't take my word for it. Ask PinFed directly, okay? Ask them, hey, what credit FICO uh, scoring model do you guys use when you pull my credit report? It's very simple, right? So PinFed is pretty much open to anyone to join. And again, it's Pentagon Federal Credit Union. And on this slideshow, all of the slides are connected to the top 11 credit bureaus. I'm sorry. And on the top 11 list, all of the credit unions are actually tagged with their website. So if you join the uh, credit course, you will get access to this slide and you can literally just click on the slide and it'll take you right to all of these websites. Same with the tracking log that we're going to be going over in part two. It's, it's phenomenal. You guys got to stick around for that. Cause man, I'm telling you, it, put, it took me so long to put all this stuff together for you guys. So that's why it's so important for you guys to watch the entire video, share it with friends, engage, comment, subscribe, blow this thing up because this is what people need to know. Okay. So again, PenFed is open to anyone through membership in uh, voices, America's troop, which is a $14 one year membership fee or the National Military Family Association, which is a $15 donation. Okay, so again, another donation. They offer the shares loans, which is the secured loan, just like the Navy Federal Pledge loan, same thing, but with PinFed. So you can use the same concept that I talk about with Navy Fed, but with PinFed and all of these other credit unions that I'm reviewing. So I don't wanna hear no excuses of, oh, I can't join Navy Federal. These banks are just as good, okay? Some of them might even be better, okay? Navy Federal just got really popular, but guess what? All of these other credit unions are very comparable, okay? And they give high limits, especially if you raise the bar by doing a secured loan with them. Um, I had a gentleman that joined my mentorship a couple of years ago. Shout out to you, Wes, man. Thanks. You, uh, you believed in me when I only had like 500 subscribers on YouTube. And here I am uh, two years later with, you know, almost 15,000. So thank you guys so much. Make sure that you've subscribed. But uh, he joined my mentorship and uh, he got the secured pledge loan with uh, PenFed. And he was able to get high limit credit cards with PinFed. So the, these were his first high limit credit cards. And that's just an amazing story because when you come from never really having a good credit, never really having high limit credit cards, never really having over a 700 credit score, and then later in life, you're just turning, turning it up and like, man, it's, it's just, it's amazing because my car payments were always so expensive before I understood credit. And I paid them and I paid them on time, but they were always like six, $700. And that was because of the interest rate. And I just wasn't educated. All that I cared about was that one word, approved. Good, where do I sign? <laughs> no problem. I just don't wanna deal with it. I just wanna get approved. But I had to be educated and I started getting my auto loans directly with credit unions. PinFed is a great credit union for you to get your auto loans with. They offer some of the lowest interest rates out on the market right now, but you need to go to them directly and then you can take your PinFed check to the dealership and get a car directly from the dealership. I recommend CarMax because it's a no hassle zone and they pretty much work with everyone. So you just wanna verify before you do go down to a dealership that they would accept outside financing from your credit union and give them the name of your credit union. Okay. So, um, back to the shared loans here with Navy, with, uh, PinFed, which is the Navy federal pledge loan hack. Um, and again, if you are planning to get an auto loan, doing a secured shares loan is a great way for you to warm up that relationship, especially if it's for a larger amount and you want to get a larger car loan try to do a, you know, a nice little chunky secured shares loan. So that way you can build up your payment history with the bank before you ask them out. Okay. Before you ask them, Hey, can I get, can I get a little something? You've already shown them, Hey, I'm solid. I've paid this loan on time. You can trust me. I get direct deposit. 
all of these things are, you're checking off all the boxes. Okay. You're looking good on paper. That's what we want. Repayment terms, um, they go up to 142 months. And again, the loan limits for the uh, pledge loan, which is the secured loan, is low as $250. And the maximum is really unlimited. I've, Like I said, I, I had did a whole nother masterclass and I showed a $200,000 pledge loan with Navy Federal and what that looks like. So if you got the cash, you can certainly do the pledge loan. That's just going to help raise the bar. Um, by you putting your cash on your credit report, you are raising the bar for other banks to give you higher limits. And for your current uh, credit union that you're building with, for them to feel more comfortable giving you comparable limits that you already would have on hand. Okay, that just makes the bank feel more comfortable. Um, again, repayment terms, 142 months, as long as monthly payment does not fall, fall below $25 and 2% above current dividend rates. Okay. So you want to make sure that you give the bank a little bit of money because that's what they offer these pledge loans for is to make a little bit of interest, but also to help you guys out at the same time. They're helping us by giving us a primary trade line, uh, reporting it to the credit bureaus. It's not costing us a hard inquiry for the secured loan. So these are all plus. And again, make sure that you verify with them. There is not going to be a hard pull for this secured loan. Things are always changing, but you always want to verify it with the bank. Okay. Um, other important notes for PinFed is uh, no credit report is pulled for the shares loans. Loans are guaranteed to be approved. So that's the great thing about the secured loan is it's great for building credit, grade A trade line, primary trade line, helps payment history, helps everything. Just the relationship with the bank. If you are able to do a large lump sum of money, say you get your tax returns and you're able to do 10K, now you just raise the bar for yourself. So the next card that you apply for or loan or whatever you apply for, chances are it's going to be like a step above that. Okay. But if you were only getting like $2,500, $5,000, $10,000 approvals before, this is a way to raise the bar. And again, if you don't have the money, but friends or family do, they can add you as a co-borrower or a co-signer on their secured loan and you'll get credit for it. So it's win for both you guys. Um, shares loans are reported to the credit bureaus and will appear on the members credit reports. Again, they report to all three credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Shares in other members accounts may be used as long as the owner of the other account signs a pledge of shares form. So again, that's the co-signer. That's where if your mom, dad, brother, anyone who has a a sum of money that they would like to use to build credit, they can add you by filling out that form and submitting it. Uh, you do have to upload the form or fax the form directly to PinFed. And this is one of the banks where the funds must be deposited for 30 days or more before the loan will be approved. We talked about that earlier in the video and PinFed is that credit union that would want the funds there for at least 30 days or more. So that's why I always say, if you are planning to do the pledge loan, get your account, put the money in your savings account and allow about a 30 day period for it to just sit and marinate, set up that direct deposit, you know, then do your pledge loan once you have been a member for at least 30 days. If not, wait a little bit longer if you have more time. But 30 days is a good enough time. And generally, most of these banks will allow you to do a pledge loan once you have been a member for at least 30 days. OK, and if you got a little bit longer to do great, if you've already been a member, that's even better. Do it now. OK, the sooner the better. So that is PinFed for you. Next, we have DCU, which is Digital Federal Credit Union. And DCU is another Equifax bank. DCU is mainly going to pull from Equifax, but for loans, they could pull from all three. So again, it can vary, but they are mainly an Equifax bank. DCU is also known for giving out high credit limits. You want to be careful. You do not want to lie on your credit application with DCU because they are known 
known for asking for proof of income or tax returns. So you don't want to fluff things too much. But if you are able to use your entire household income, why not? That's what it's asking for is your household income. So you can use that a little bit more generously. Now, of course, if you have the proof to back it, by all means, put down a nice fluffy income for yourself because DCU and all of these other credit unions are obviously going to feel more comfortable giving higher limits to someone who brings in a higher amount of money. That's just how it is. So generally, you can expect maybe 10% of your annual income But if your household income is, say, $250,000, you're more likely to get a $30,000 to a $50,000 credit card versus if you only put that your annual income was $100,000, chances of you getting a $50,000 credit card are very slim to none because that's 50% of your salary, which is just not likely. Now, generally, you can go up to about a $50,000 limit without any proof or documents required. Sometimes it can be lower. It just depends. Every situation does vary. But generally speaking, I have seen it most common when documents and financial records are required if someone is acquiring more than $50,000 unsecured. So if they are going to be getting loans, lines of credit, business loans, personal loans, home home equity lines of credit, whatever the case may be, home improvement loans, student loans, there will be more documentation required. The easiest type of funding to get are credit cards. Why? Because There are no documents for up to 50K. Generally, you're going to see 30K is the more frequent number when it comes to credit card approvals. And that's why it's so key to get these grade A trade lines that are a higher limit because you're just raising the bar for everyone else. So if you already got that 30K credit card with Navy Federal, great. Now you can head on over to DCU. Now that you've already built up your relationship with Navy Federal and and got a credit card from them, take a break from them for a little while, okay? Let's move banks and let's start building with either DCU, PenFed, or some of these other banks that we went over in just those top 11 banks. This isn't even included in all of the other banks that we're going to be covering in part two. I mean, it's mind-blowing. It's just mind-blowing. Anyone can pretty much join Digital Federal Credit Union. You can join by the Reach Out for Schools Foundation. It's a nonprofit membership organization that raises money to fund classrooms and programs that benefit students. Most of the funds that we raise are used to adopt classrooms through Adopt a Classroom and to fund projects through Donors Choice. These programs will allow teachers to purchase classroom resources with donated funds, and you may join this organization when you open up your DCU membership. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Get joined. Take action into all of the top banks that pull from Equifax. But as you can see on this list that's coming up in part two, I've got 23 banks. Most of these are credit unions that pull from Equifax. So if you are someone that is looking for a ton of banks that pull either Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian, make sure to watch part two, where we're talking about nothing but grade A trade lines that are going to help you build credit. So that way your credit score can match your credit profile. It's all about data points and adding comparable credit that looks good on paper. So again, guys, if you have it by now, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Credit Coach Nicole Scott. Follow me on Instagram at Credit Coach Nicole Scott. Make sure that you've liked the video, comment, share it with a friend, and make sure that you have subscribed to the credit course. The course is only, link below, I mean, it's like, 
literally I'm giving it away. I'm giving it away to you guys. Okay. So get it while it is still on sale. It's on sale through the end of the year. Guys, support the channel. I appreciate you so much. Make sure to watch all of the videos in the playlist in the description and what's coming up next.